So we're starting with our, the man-woman junior croquis, and of course we only need the junior croquis for this exercise. So first we're going to um, create a clipping mask. So I use the pen tool, and notice my fill is none, my stroke is black, and I'm going to just quickly draw an area around the figure that I want to keep. I'm going to crop out the other figures, and then to close it, I go to that first point and you'll see the circles is the circle is drawn near the pen or added to the pen so that's how we close this shape. Then we select um, the shape, hold down your shift key, select the sketch in the back with a crow key. Let's do this again. So select. Might have been locked already. So we select that, select this shape, and then right click make clipping mask. And then at this point it is good to lock this layer and I've already named it croquis so I'm locking the layer and then I'm, I'm going to add a new layer on top of it. So this is the layer that I'll draw my dress on top of. So we're zooming in so we can see what we're doing. Use your pen tool and we're only going to draw half of the dress on this side then we'll reflect it and add it to the other side. So we're starting somewhat in the middle and then I click and drag and then I want to change direction so I click on this last point to get rid of the handle then click here oh and we want to have no fill so no fill but we want a black stroke so we'll just swap it so now it's no fill black stroke and I'll come down about here click and drag and then again changing direction, so click on that last point. Whoops, I think I did something wrong. So you can always undo it, uh, you know, control Z. And then get rid of this handle out here, so click right there. And then come down to about here. Just a quick straight line. And then we want to bow out here. So we'll click out here and then just create the curve for the skirt. And then we want to get rid of this handle. We're changing directions to go this way. So we'll click on that last point. And then I'm going to create a nice curve on the bottom of the dress. And then this is something new that I haven't tried really, but you can hold down your Alt key and then grab this handle and move it. So that sort of tells you, tells you the direction of the new curve that you're going to be creating. So practice that. So you let go, Alt, and then click on this handle. You know, this little knob at the end. So Alt, click on that, and then bring it down. Then let go of your mouse, and then let, let go of Alt last. And then click, click and drag. Okay. Then we are going to make a reflect a copy of this. So right click, uh, transform, reflect, vertical 90, copy, then scoot that over, and you get as close as you can. You can probably get a little closer. Okay, so you notice that it's, it's open up here. It's not closed. So what I do is I use my direct selection, I grab those two points, but be, instead of joining it, because it's just going to be a straight line, I want to connect them first. So you go to Object, Path, Average, and then both should be selected. OK. So you see that now that's on one point, it combined it, and then you go back to Object, Path, Join. Do the same thing for down here. There's two tiny little points. See those two? So we select those two. Object, path, average, both, OK. And then object, path, join.